Absolute fantastic guest. Uh, it's a friend of mine from Hamilton, and she is coming in to make this Danish dish. So I'll let her come in and she'll explain exactly what this dish is and how she learned how to make it. So, welcome, please, Rhoda Johnson. having you here on the show. Now, if you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you came to make this Danish dessert, I think that's what it is. Um, you know, you can use it as a snack, you can use it as a dessert, you can, it is called Ebelskua. 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 Now, I'm uh, from Danish descent. My father was born in Denmark and came over in the early 20s. He was only about uh, four when him and my grandparents, who I call the best of on best of on, Denmark. Now they came in the uh, early 1900s, but New Denmark is in New Brunswick. And it was first settled by the Danish settlers, the first few that came by boat. There was less than, there was about 50, 40, 49 or 50. And they come over, uh, the Canadian government promised them, you know, 100 acres of land, good farmland in New Brunswick. They needed people to clear it. To, or to now, when you say the government, they guaranteed them 50 acres? They guaranteed them 50 acres of cleared land. Cleared land. Because they didn't have enough people right. here. And, mm -hmm. and did they give them this 50 acres? Uh, 100. And um, actually, so that was in about 1872, I believe, because it's the 150th anniversary mm -hmm. of New Denmark settling. Okay. And so they landed in St. John, New Brunswick, came up on a boat up the St. John River. They were <clears throat> kind of let off in just country, and they walked this... Uh, Hill. It's now. It's called the Lucy Gulch Hill. Oh, wow! And it's about two miles, and it's quite a steep climb walk. They had to build first. They had to clear enough land to build one big house where they all lived in. Mom and I actually. My husband and I do a lot of Danish meals, yes. as you know. If, so. let's, if I could get John to come up here for a minute. Yes, there he is. Hi, everyone. You should be in here assisting Rhoda, but she has asked me to do this, so I will. That's okay. While well, we're saying and he's going to be the sous chef today, I normally am at home, but I'll allow him the yes. opportunity. I'll, I'll, I'll do the, the cleanup, I'll do the mixing, I'll do whatever it needs to be done. Good. We, we did have technical difficulties, cameras were breaking down. <laughs> And eggs just didn't seem to want eggs. to separate they did today. Not, they did not cooperate. You know, it couldn't have been us. It bad, must have been the eggs. No, yeah. it was bad chickens. <laughs> bad yes. chickens. <laughs> I'd like Rhoda to show you these pans mm -hmm. that this dish is made. Okay, so I've got, this is just a protector for the handle gets hot. Uh, this is a Neville skewer pan. Now this one, I don't know what it weighs, but it's heavy yeah. iron. This has been in my family for I don't know how many years. So mm -hmm. it came from New Denmark, but how long it's been before that. So it's at least 100 years old, wow. this one, because this was my family's. I treasure anything that I have for my family from Denmark, because I don't, this no. is one we got. This, <laughs> this, this is light. This yes. I would say this is from China. <laughs> Probably could find that somewhere. It's on not here. as heavy, and it does say it's cast iron. Mm -hmm. And um, 
It, it makes, I've used it, because if I have a big crowd, I will use both mm -hmm. of them. But, and I'll shoot, I'll use both of them here, just so you can see. You can bleep anything out if I do slip, but I will try very, very hard. <laughs> can you explain what's in this dry uh, ingredient? Okay, so for, I'm making a double batch here to my recipe, so um, this would be, we could probably, the four of us could probably eat the end product of by. So how many would that make? Uh, this can make up to 40. 40? Yeah. Wow. And here I've got um, four cups of flour, and it's one teaspoon of baking soda, and two teaspoons of sugar. So I... Now, what are, you, what are you going to mix this with? A spoon? Um, a mixer? Well, a mixer you, with a, this is going to be, we'll power it by hand. Because we don't okay, have a lot of water. But we can do this. You want a, one with a handle then? Just so that, I don't oh, want to hurt your, your... My delicate nails. Yes. Yeah. So, just give this a little mix. Okay, I can do that. You do that, and um, I'll have a drink. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes, and I'm drawing here. You're drawing, my goodness. As soon as I have a break, then I'll get myself oh, a break. Oh, okay, yeah. Just, so you're mixing that, and then we're going to add egg yolks, six egg yolks. You don't beat them first, then, eh? You, you don't know. need to. No. no. Okay. Put them right in there. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Don't slip. Don't slip. I don't. Oh. Don't worry, just How a minute. Can you mix this? Oh, this is not just, mixing. Just a minute. Oh, okay. Just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Clean up an I four. <laughs> Thank you, John. No. No, I just found one. Oh, all right. <laughs> so I'll put half it. Okay, we're gonna do three and a half cups of buttermilk. Oh yeah, because this will be like a batter. Oh right? yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's not like doing yeah. Well, uh, you're not fighting with that the whole time. No, I wouldn't do that to you. No. Okay. No. Let me just. Oh, what's this? this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, my editing crew, they can cut all this out. Nobody. I would look good at the end of this. <laughs> I didn't take them all apart, did I? Oh, noisy. <laughs> So we'll give that a minute, but what we'll do is we'll start with this one, okay? And what I do is put just a wee bit in each little pancake hole. Double skew a pan. Now, could you make just regular pancakes with this? I haven't tried, but... You know, you could. So the round one, and of course that's in the middle, so it usually, it's not unusual for that to kind of be the first one done. Need to right. put some butter in, so. And uh, oh. you're putting about? Just a little bit, yeah. About that much? Yeah. If you look 
here, I've turned them, partially turned them once. Right. And so now we've, you know, I don't turn them all the way at the beginning. Now, does this create like a, uh, a little hole in the it, center? It can be hollow or sometimes if it won't be hollow. Depending on how slowly you kind of do this whole turn okay. thing, it'll yeah. fill up because you're okay. gradually. Now, looking at the one that I, I put in, I think I probably put a little too much in these, did I? It's kind of yeah. overflowing, but that's okay. Yeah, we'll yeah, fix it uh, when we get... Okay. Uh, this not, one's almost done. Um, yeah, well, that looks like puffy inside, like... Uh, well, they should be, and... Okay. Yeah, now this one, see, when it's coming out kind of clean, then it's done. Oh, okay. And you just take them out. I, like I say, that looks like a round pancake. And a lot of them call them round pancake. They, they call okay. them pancake balls. So you like, can see now, I mean, even though they look messy, it'll be okay. Like, right. I'm turning them. So, and, and again, yeah, like you say, yeah, the you center see, yeah. always gets a little warmer then. Or a little it always and, does, yeah. 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 Okay. There you go. God, that looks delicious. Should I? Now, can you put maple syrup on these? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But what we always do first. So, first oh. you do. Oh, you, you got put sugar. Oh, you got to sprinkle them with sugar. This is Danish, you know. We love our... Everything tastes better with sugar. Oh, can, you, can I sample one now? Sure. Oh, yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah, we're good. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. Kind of reminds me that the, the taste is like uh, French toast. Yeah. But they are delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very nice. Wow. Now, is that your second one we say? Well, who's counting? I don't know. I shouldn't have to admit when you're out there. this thing rolling here. Okay. And <laughs> see what happened? Well, my, my stick broke. My God. Here. See what happens when you oh, get too I'm much. Sorry. You get too much. You get you get the lip on, right? <laughs> yes. I, and then I, it, it doesn't slide down it doesn't, in. It doesn't back roll. into the into the pocket. Yes. So, you know, that's what you have to be careful of. Yeah. And, and this pan was a little bit too hot because you oh, don't my God, you don't have time to. Uh, but anyway, it, it is a learning curve, and once you get the gist of everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and then it, 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 now that looks like a clam. I, I noticed that. Huh? I'm, I'm Look at the mouth trying, on that thing. I'm, I'm trying to flip it, and its tongue is hanging out. You see that? Yeah. Oh yeah. You, you're inventing something new. Yeah. <laughs> Without this? No. That's a, that's a given. That's a, a tradition. Wow. Tradition on Christmas Day morning for breakfast. Yeah. And I will just take and. Shuffle a little sugar over the top of these again. 
like that. And then we can always roll them around and then shirk her in the bottom. Oh, see? What's wrong with from mine? Looking, from looking pretty bad, they're turning out pretty good. Well, don't don't really don't flip them over. No, well, we'll just keep the good side up. Yes, that's right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just keep it's the good side up. It's all in the up. presentation. What?